the scarlet tanager is a brilliant red bird with a harsh voice. Some call it the sore-throated robin due to its screechy song that has a melody that resembles that of the American robin. But one could also jokingly call it the black-winged redbird for its dark black plumage on its wings. The scarlet tanager can be found deep in large deciduous forests, usually high in the treetops, making them difficult to find in spite of their extraordinarily vibrant plumage. My name is Rob, and this is Songbirding. of the hermit thrush and red-eyed vireo together here. A distant winter wren as well. Downy woodpecker. They can be remembered with downy descending. Their sound descends. Their sound descends as they do that call. It's not really a song. Oh, there was an oven bird briefly. Eastern Tilly. Probably that same Tilly from last night. This is the call of the towhee. Sounds a twee. It was pretty loud, but it seemed to have stopped now. This red shoulder hawk is louder now. And we're also hearing winter wren. It's a rather lengthy song but it's actually being kind of buried in all the other songs here there it is
That's the winter room. They're very tiny, but they are very loud. So much bird song here, it's hard to progress walking. Here's the winter wren again. It's a really lengthy and fairly high-pitched song. But it is kind of all over the place for pitch, actually. It does go up and down. It usually ends on high notes. Sounds like the winter wren's getting further away. A fairly loud red-eyed vireo up ahead. It's pretty high canopy here. And pretty substantial canopy. There's certainly very few spots where I actually get sunlight right now which it's only like 54 degrees out, so it'd be nice if <laughs> I got some more sun, but that's okay. I know it'll be hotter later. Oh, black throated green warbler. Let's see if I can stop for a second and uh, hear that a bit more. There we go. And a blue jay. Blue Jay's doing these whoop, whoop, whoop calls. The dee 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 doo dee, that's the uh, black throated green warbler. Two black throated green warblers.
<laughs> oh, there's black or blue. It's a great opportunity to compare the two of them. I find they have very similar voices, just different songs. So there's dee 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 doo dee, that's black throat green. Trees, trees, lovely trees is also black throat green. And that zip 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 zip. That was the black throat blue. Red-shouldered hawk again. Blue jay. It's also a scarlet tanager here somewhere. Sometimes referred to as a sore-throated sore robin when it comes to the song. So black throat blues typically beer beer bees for the uh, song. So there's two red-shouldered hawks here. Maybe that's just a regular call, not a juvenile thing. I don't encounter red-shoulder that often. I've only encountered it in breeding territory once, really. And this wasn't the vocalization it was doing. Okay, we got Scarlet Tana drop ahead. Let's go listen to that. There's the Scarlet Tanager. Let's see if I can get closer.
It's interesting, it's not that far away, but it's getting drowned out by so many other vireos. And a little bit from the black to the green, but mostly the vireos actually. All the red-eyed vireos. Okay, that was an oven bird, the teacher, 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 teacher. Dee 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 doo dee. Was the black throated green. I'm pretty sure I just heard red headed fury, or red headed. <laughs> red headed woodpecker. I don't think there's such a thing as a red headed vireo. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to use a little bit of time here to do a e-bird list. It's got one scarlet tanager. A couple of birds so far. Got four black-throated green warblers. One black throated blue warbler. Briefly had a common loon fly over, I was pretty sure. I'm gonna have to review the recording on that though. Because that's considered rare here. So I'm not gonna put it on the eBird list just yet. Redheaded is considered rare here too, so I'll wait until I hear it for sure. Might have been red bellied. A hairy woodpecker. A couple of red shouldered hawks. Okay, I'm definitely hearing red bellied woodpecker nearby. So we had a couple cedar wax wings, an eastern tui, we had at least three chestnut sided warblers earlier, two magnolia warblers, a hooded warbler, in fact there are two hooded warblers. There was an indigo bunting. Robin. Winter wren. Black capped chickadee. Several crows, several blue jays, several red eyed vireos. Okay, I'm going to leave the list at that so far. Black throated green warbler and another one. Just two different songs. American Robin up ahead.
Scarlet Tanager is getting louder. Some black cap chickadees here too. I think as the air temperature is warming up, the songs are starting to pick up. Drumming seems like it would be pileated woodpecker at that volume. Quite a lot of birds on here. In the next episode, we'll be approaching Hector Falls. Songbirding, the Allegheny National Forest, is a Songbirding Studios production and was recorded, engineered, narrated, and created by me, Rob Porter with cover art and logo design by Lauren Helton, and Creative Commons music from Josh Woodward and Jason Shaw. For eBird checklists and links to more information about hermit thrushes, please see the show notes. Street on a summer afternoon, but we're just met with cold dismay. The owner storms our table and he takes away my spoon and says we're not some kind of new cafe where freaks like you are on display. But he can't take a